So what targeted therapies are available for this uh, type of lung cancer? So fortunately, there were two treatments that were recently approved. Uh, one is called amivantamab, and the second one is called uh, mobocertinib. These drugs work differently, and one is not necessarily uh, better than the other. Uh, side effects are also different. Uh, there, are, there are overlapping side effects, but they're different, and I'll go into this um, a little bit later. So amivantamab is an intravenous drug, so it's an infusion, so you actually have to come into the clinic for the treatment. And it's a bit uh, visit intensive in the beginning, so it's given uh, two days in a row in the first week, weekly for one month and every other week, and that continues. The second drug uh, is called mobocertinib. This is a pill. Um, now, you may still need to come in uh, frequently to the clinic, um, and that will depend on what your doctor thinks is appropriate for you based on your symptoms and the side effects you, you experience. Uh, personally, when I give this drug to my own patients, uh, I still ask them to come in frequently in the beginning um, because there can be a lot of side effects. So how well do these treatments work? And uh, there are a couple of things to remember as basic uh, principles. The first is that uh, these treatments can be very effective uh, in shrinking the cancer and keeping the cancer under control, but they cannot get rid of cancer completely. So these are not treatments that can cure cancer. So I, I usually make sure that my, my uh, patients understand this piece um, so that we're all on the same page. And the second point is that uh, treatment usually has to be continued as long as uh, it is keeping the cancer under control and side effects are manageable. So it's not like we um, like we do uh, treatment for you know, three months or six months and stop. Um, these usually have to be continued if they're working. Now, I know that uh, based on my own patients, uh, many, many look at presentations of clinical trials, some even read papers uh, of clinical trials that have questions about different terms that are used. Um, so I thought I would take this opportunity to explain some of these uh, common terms that are used. So the first is called response rate, and it's a very common measure we use as researchers to uh, figure out how well a treatment is working. And so the question this is asking is, among the patients who received the drug, what is the percentage of patients who had a major tumor shrinkage. And that is usually defined as more than 30% shrinkage. And for amivantamab and mobocertinib, um, that number is around 25 to 40%. Now, this does not mean that the tumor will shrink by 25 to 40% for that particular patient. Um, what this means is that if 100 patients of very similar, uh, of the same type of cancer in a similar clinical situation receive the same drug, out of 100, uh, 25 to 40 of them will have a major shrinkage. The next term that is used a lot is uh, disease control rate, and that is asking among the patients who receive the drug, what is the percentage of patients who had a major shrinkage or stability of their cancer? And that number is around 70 to 80%. So based on this, we can see that the majority of patients who receive the drug can either have a tumor shrinkage or stability of their cancer. And I would say um, having stability of cancer is also a very good outcome, especially if uh, that lasts for a long time. The third uh, term is progression-free survival. And what that is, is time that it took from initiation of treatment until cancer progression was observed. 
And for these treatments, that number is around seven to eight months. Um, but please remember that these are average numbers and there is always a range uh, with some patients having cancer progression much earlier than this and some patients uh, later than this. So remember that this is an average number. So based on these numbers, I think what we can see is that these treatments do work, but there is certainly a lot of uh, room for improvement. 